My name is Joe Flatley, and I'm President and CEO of the Massachusetts Housing Investment Corporation, commonly referred to as MHIC. MHIC is a private nonprofit whose mission is to raise private capital to finance affordable housing and community development. Toward that goal, MHIC has raised over $1.4 billion in private capital to finance the development and preservation of over 15,000 units of permanent affordable housing throughout Massachusetts. My message today is a simple one. Our underlying goal is the expansion of the supply of high quality, permanent, affordable housing, which is, as we all know, the real solution to homelessness. We are grateful for the enormous commitment of resources that the Commonwealth provides towards that goal, which is unmatched by other states, I might add. As we advocate for continued funding for the state's permanent housing programs, we are mindful of the need to use those resources fairly and efficiently. But both of those objectives, fairness and efficiency, can be challenged by the way in which the shelter system has been managed. All too often, the pathway to getting subsidized housing is perceived to be through the shelter system. This can be enormously unfair to the tens of thousands of needy families who have been waiting years for affordable housing on waiting lists. Oh, sure, sorry. As I said, um, this can be enormously unfair to the tens of thousands of needy families who have been waiting for years for affordable housing on waiting lists. We must be mindful of those families as well. So it's entirely appropriate for the state to enact rules such as those proposed today to ensure that this does not happen while maintaining the safety net for families facing short-term emergencies. The Patrick administration is right to focus on preventing homelessness in the first place and helping families remain housed if at all possible. This is clearly better for families and much more cost effective than emergency shelter. In summary, we support the Catholic administration's efforts to devise a compassionate, fair, and efficient approach to emergency assistance, coupled with their commitment to expanding the supply of quality 